Hi everybody, this is John Hammond with the Hammond Report. And I'm reporting to you directly from the middle of Times Square. It's a little bit noisy because the guy's with the power washer right now in front of ABC. I'm uh, over here by the ABC studios. And I used to think that Diane Sawyer lived in there. She was on TV so much. They probably gave her an apartment in there somewhere, you know. And now she's just working on specials. And people just come here and stand around, take pictures, it's all lit up. And uh, there's actually some people sleeping. <laughs> and that's kind of sad because they probably don't have a place to, to sleep, but it's probably pretty safe for them right here. Plenty of police around. And we're gonna walk over here. You can see that the guy is closing up the hot dog place where you can also buy lobster rolls. It's called Bisbee's. It's Bisbee's now. And we got some seats, seating area. Here's kind of a famous thing. This American flag, this USO is in there. And you can get recruited there to be in the military if you're of age. And uh, a lot of people take pictures in front of that thing. This building, one Times Square, there used to be a nightclub up there called Nirvana. And we used to go up there and have jam sessions. And right now it's under construction. There was a big Walgreens in there, but the whole place is shrouded in some kind of a construction thing. But that's where they dropped the ball from on New Year's Eve. All the way up at the top there. And it's a crystal ball. And you can see here, there's all four armed forces of the United States of America represented here. Right there. Yep. We got the Army, Navy, Air Force, and the Marines. Don't forget the Marines. So here we got the Hard Rock Cafe. And one of these days I'm going to do breakfast there. The food's pretty good. They have a buffet. But I don't eat bacon. So I'm sure they got plenty of bacon and that sort of thing there. But maybe they got some vegetarian selections in the Hard Rock Buffet. I was at the opening of the very first buffet, or the very first Hard Rock Cafe in Dallas, Texas with Joe Berger and uh, Isaac Tigret, the uh, founder of Hard Rock Cafe was there, and Bucks Henderson and a bunch of real good guitar players, and we had a really good party there. And here comes the traffic. They're just bombing down the avenue here. And you gotta really stay on your toes for those electric scooters. You don't hear them coming. And they get it right up on you and you can get hit real easy. So I think I'm gonna back it down. Maybe another report from another location. There's somebody getting a picture taken in front of the famous flag. This is John Hammond. Oh yeah, one last thing. Big report here. I got a haircut today from my main man. Joseph the Barber, and he did a beautiful job. I was really relieved in the summertime to have shorter hair, and uh, I survived some kind of shabby haircuts. I was hoping to see him before the NAMM show, but he came in specially to do me, and I'm gonna see him tomorrow too. So thank you, Joseph the Barber, at Mark Joseph Salon and Spa. I highly recommend him. It's one of the great haircutters. I met him at Mike's Barbershop, the Marabella Beauty Salon, where Mike the Barber was cutting for in his barbershop there in Times Square, Port Authority, for 40 years, maybe more than 40 years. And that's where I met Joseph. And uh, we all stay in touch, you know. We all had our hair cut there many times, and talked about all kinds of things. 
It was more than a haircut when you went to Mike's Barbershop, the Marabella Salon there in the Port Authority. And now I, I'm happy that I can still go and see Joseph the Barber now that he's cutting over at Mark Joseph's Salon. Okay, we're going to back it down here. This is John Hammond. I'm the organ player and accordionist, not the singer. J-O-N, no H. Fingers of the singers. Got plenty of YouTubes solo and with my band. We got some great musicians that played on the John Hammond Band all over the world. I'm starting to uh, travel again after a long lockdown, too long for the pandemic. But I still wear this KN95 mask, a new one every time on all my indoor gigs. And when I'm indoors and on airplanes, and you can see the power washing guy here. He's keeping it clean and also keeps people from sleeping in front of the ABC studios. Yeah, he's power washing away there. Okay, John Hammond, backing it down from Times Square, New York, where you don't need to bring a flashlight because it's all lit up. Okay, bye-bye now.